Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jazz and in today's video I have done a collab with the amazing Crystal Conti here on YouTube as well. We decided to go for a formal inspired makeup tutorial for all of you Aussies here that have their formals in November. We decided to go for two different lip colours so if you'd like to see how we created this look then please keep watching and then go over to Crystal's channel and check out her video. Okay, so first up, a primer. It is really, really important that you wear a primer, especially when you're wearing makeup for a long period of time, as it obviously prolongs the wear of your makeup. So I'm using the Hourglass Mineral Primer. Um, it is amazing for oily skin and combination skin, I've heard. It is quite pricey though, if you're not much of a primer person, but I probably would suggest just getting a sample from Mecca for free if you're not willing to spend so much. So for foundation, I'm using the Makeup Forever HD foundation. I love this foundation, especially in photography because it has no SPF in it, which means there is no flashback whatsoever. And I'm just mixing it with my MAC strobe cream so my face looks very radiant and glowy. So I like to buff the foundation in first with my Sigma F80 Kabuki brush. And then I like to go over it with my damp beauty blender. I just feel like this way um, just makes my face look the most flawless um, rather than just blending it all in with my kabuki brush or all in with the beauty blender. So yeah. And then to further cover my blemishes, I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW25 and just putting them on my gross pimples that need more coverage. I love this concealer, especially for blemishes. And then I'm going in with my favorite under eye concealer, which is the Maybelline Fit Me in the lightest shade and placing that underneath my eyes, on my chin, Cupid's bow, down the bridge of my nose and on my forehead. And of course, blending it out with a damp beauty blender. And then I'm using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot just to um, prime my eyelids. This really cancels out the redness in my eyes and I guess keeps the eyeshadow on for a very long time. If you're not um, wanting to spend so much on it, I would just recommend using any um, light concealer. So now I'm just setting my under eye area with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This stuff is seriously so amazing. It feels like silk and I would highly recommend it. Plus this e.l.f. blush brush, it is amazing. Best duo ever. And as some of you already know, I have my eyebrows cosmetically tattooed. So all I do is carve the bottom of the brow um, with a light concealer and a concealer brush, as you can see. And then as per usual, setting the rest of my face with the Australis Fresh and Flawless Face Powder in the shade Darkest Brown. And I'm just using a Jessup Large Powder Brush for it. And then going in with my favourite bronzer, which is the Hoola by Benefit on this Talia Jade um, angled contouring brush. I'll leave a link down below where you can purchase her brushes from. So I'm just putting that in the hollows of my cheekbones, on my forehead, temples and along my jawline. And now I'm going in with the Zoeva Luxe Face Paint Brush and defining the contour a little bit more. I love this brush because it's so narrow and it really, really carves the cheekbones out nicely. So now I'm baking my contour and for this I'm using the Face of Australia Translucent Powder but you can use any translucent powder of your choice and I'm just using this with a angled cosmetic sponge that you can get from literally anywhere and as you can see I've just put a big fat line underneath my contour, wait 30 seconds and then brush off the excess. I don't like to keep it on for that long otherwise the line becomes a bit too harsh so yeah. 
For blush, I'm using the Benefit Coralie's to blush. I absolutely love this blush because it's not too much and I'm not really much of a blush person anyways. I'm so sorry these first two clips are out of focus, but I'm just applying a transition shade and I'm using Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek, which is just a soft brown color. And then I'm going in with the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Palette, and as you can see, I'm using the darkest color in the palette, which is on the screen, and I'm placing that in my crease with a Zoeva, I'm pretty sure it's called a crease brush, but I'm kind of creating like a soft cut crease look. And then I'm taking the bottom left highlighter shade and placing that on my brow bone and all over my lid and also in my inner corner. And then I'm grabbing more of the dark brown shade and adding it to my crease because it lost some color. And I'm probably just going to be blending for days so I'm just going to show you what I'm doing. And then for the wing, I'm using the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner and I'm using my Zoeva Winged Liner Brush for this. And as you can see, I'm just creating a medium sized wing. So now I'm just taking the dark brown and placing that on my lower lash line and then blending it out um, so it looks a bit smoky and not bare. And then I'm grabbing the, the Balm Cosmetics Mr. Right Now eyeliner, which is just a nude color, and placing that in my waterline. So now I'm just popping on some mascara. This one is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. And then for lashes, I'm using the Kalux Mink Lashes, and I'm pretty sure they're in the style Maria if they're not. Um, I'll have them all listed in the description box down below anyways. So for the nude option, I decided to go with the Boldly Bare Lip Liner by MAC and I decided to pair that with the Gerard Cosmetics Buttercup Lipstick, which is just, um, as you can see, a really light nude pink color. It's not a color that I would particularly wear on a day-to-day -day basis, but heaps of people um, seem to like nude pink colors. And I actually didn't mind um, how it turned out on me. So yeah, this is the nude pink color. And then for the red, I decided to go with the famous Ruby Woo. So I used the Ruby Woo lip liner and the Ruby Woo um, lipstick by MAC. And this is how it turned out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and comment below what you would like to see next. Also, don't forget to head over to Crystal's channel and check out her videos. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.